Hey y'all, I am back. This is actually the following day or the next day after that. I'm not quite sure. But anyways, um, I went to Five Below because I needed to exchange. Y'all remember those stools I got? I got, I told you I got it in white and I also got it in black. Well, one of the black stools had a scratch on it. So I exchanged it for that. And um, I got another stool, stool for here at my home to place one of my plants on. But while I was at Five Below, y'all, I realized that I don't have any toys here. Like for like family coming over, my nieces and nephews coming over, like I don't have any toys for them. So the Lord like impressed on my heart to go ahead and get some items there that are toys for Five Below. So I thought I'd do like a little fun uh, haul right here in this type of video of what I got at Five Below as regards to toys and activities. So one thing I want to show y'all is I got this monster truck right here. There's two of them actually. There's the lime green and there's the teal. And I thought this would be really, really nice for my nephews. They're younger. So, um, you know, it's two so they can easily share or have their own. But this was like $5. You can't beat that. It's just your standard truck. So I thought this will be good for them. And what I'm going to show you are also possible activities you can do with older kids and younger kids. Um, I even found this as well. This is like a fun animal safari bucket. It has, you know, your lion. It has uh, alligator, giraffe, elephants, palm trees, you name it. It's just those little fun little uh, figurines that kids can use their imagination with and play with and this was five dollars and I like how it's already in a tub so whenever it's cleanup time they can easily just put this in the tub and clean up and be good to go so I like I like extra storage that I don't have to buy another thing that I picked up is uh, I got this pack of go go fish. I'm not sure if some of my new snippies know how to play, but I can teach them how to play. I kind of also was my intentions was I don't want my niece and nephews just to be stuck on a tablet or an iPad or watching a movie or TV or TV show. Like I want them to actively be doing things. Cause I remember when I was a kid, that was how I was able to learn things, build knowledge, use critical thinking skills. Sorry, my teacher hat started coming on, but I thought, you know, go back to like the way we used to do back in the day, like in the old days, like in the 90s or so. That's that's the period I grew up in the 90s and 2000s. And you know, good old pack of cards doesn't hurt. And this is just a dollar. Another thing I picked up, I picked up two of these Play-Doh foams. This right here, I think it was $5. This was a little bit more. It cost $5. And I thought it was nice to have this because this is, I don't know if y'all are familiar with this, but basically it's like Play-Doh, but it's foam. So it's not something you have to worry about. I don't think it stains your wall, stains your carpet, makes a big mess. The kids can really, really spend some time on this. I know my second graders like to play with this kind of stuff. Um, nice uh kinesthetic nice tactile you know things to touch sensory type item and this was five dollars you can't beat that i got two because i do have uh two little ones and i wanted them to you know have their own so i'm gonna actually put their names on them so they know whose is who so nobody's fighting over them or anything like that and you know you want them to have their own we don't want them touching what another kid already touched that's just my opinion something fun and i don't know how a good quality this is but i picked up this keyboard right here this keyboard i think it was five dollars as well um you do need to put let's see you need to put triple a batteries in it but it says eight sound effect modes and rhythm modes six plus age of six plus so i don't again i don't know the quality i don't know how good this is but i do know this will be something fun for them extra to do um it's not like an iPad or anything like that, but you know, it's something musical. What kid doesn't love music, right? Um, you know, if you wanna get them a little mini drum set, you can. I think they did have a little mini drum set there, but I'm not exactly sure, but I thought this was pretty awesome. Getting this keyboard for my sweet little nieces and nephews. Um, another thing I picked up, this is kind of random, but I saw this slinky. I know when I was a kid, I liked playing with the slinky. This may be something that my niece and nephew see and they toss to the side, but for a dollar, I thought, why not try and see if maybe they would like it. Y'all remember slinkies, you just take them and you stretch them out. 
and extend them out. So I thought that that was pretty good buy for this, just a dollar. Another thing I picked up is some bubbles, you know, outside. Um, if they get a little bored, they want something else to do, they can get, they can blow some bubbles. So this cost $2.25, which it wasn't bad at all. So I thought this was good. And there's three of them. So each child can have their own if you have three kids or they can share. You can teach them, you know, how to share, how that's important for all ages, really. I mean, even I still like to blow on some bubbles and it's something that I can do with them and others so you can run around. I think there was a uh, bubble machine there as well so i think that's something else that you could choose and that's probably was about five dollars or so but bubbles you can't beat that for less than three bucks for three of them um oh another thing is back to old school playing cards um you can teach your child or niece and nephew how to play different games with playing cards i know this is something me and my sisters did growing up uh we we didn't have a whole lot of money but we always were able to figure out games to play with cards um, and we had a different number of games we would play for hours I mean we could play cards for literally hours while maybe a movie was on in the background we would literally play cards for hours so again be better than playing video games or on your electronics doing something else I mean this is good and I don't want to I hope this doesn't sound bad that I, I'm against electronics I'm not at all but I think it saves screen time you know why not save screen time and minimize that time and do something more interactive like this another thing I picked up and this is like for maybe older kids and teenagers that you can do as a family is I got this um it's a 500 piece puzzle set for ages 12 and up and this is butterflies, so um, they had different kinds, but I thought this would be something like challenging to try to do with, um, you know, older kids, you know, um, you know, and you can sit there and have conversations, you can think, kind of build things, but this will this will take a while, I think. It'll probably take a couple of days to put this together, but, um, you know, I thought that this would be fun to do um, with, um, any older child or even younger kids if they're interested in doing it but it's a lot of pieces 500 I don't think I've ever put together a 500 piece puzzle but doing it with somebody else like you can't go wrong right okay and then another thing that I got was some good old good old coloring books so I got this one this one has just a funny like a fun lolly dot like <laughs> cover on it you know a little girl on a bike and some kids on the bottom playing basketball and you know standard coloring book it has all kinds of fun stuff to do inside of it and then I got another jumbo coloring book this probably would be good for like younger kids maybe just by the pictures I'm seeing and the things I see in it I make good choices I like that <laughs> so this is something good to do with um kids you know is it good to be unique I mean things like that this is really good for like elementary age this is like for elementary age as well um I love stuff like this this is good I need to go back and get stuff from my classroom y'all like I'm realizing like when I was there I'm like I should pick up stuff from my room and then I also picked up this fun Jurassic Park one for the boys you know sometimes um boys they like to color too so I thought this would be good I know the boys I had this school year, they enjoyed coloring um, and drawing if they were bored with Legos or something else. So, um, so yeah, so here's some more little pictures here. And then let's see, make sure you get, you know, crayons and stuff. So this is not from uh, Five Below, but I picked up some crayons from HEB because I know I shop at HEB. So I picked these up. These are 35 cents each because it's back to school time. I got some markers too, and I got some uh, colored pencils as well. I think this was 75 cents. And then I picked, I picked this up as well. Where did I get this? Hold on, y'all. I forgot where. I think this came from. I think it came from H-E-B. I think this came from H-E-B. I know that's so random. I can't remember where I got this, but I've done so much shopping the last few days. I don't remember, but I thought this would be good for like older kids. Um, and then I picked up, this is not a toy, but I picked up this bin here. See how big it is? Pretty big. 
I picked up this bin to store everything in. So the kids know whenever it's time to clean up to put all these items back in there. So anyways, that's what I wanted to show y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for clicking on it. If you really, really like it, make sure you hit the like button. Please leave me a comment. That really does help circulate this video all over YouTube world. And um, thank you again for watching to the end. You are awesome. Stay blessed, stay safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.